December 1st. Happy Vlogmas Day 3. Morning, welcome back to day three of Vlogmas in New York City. I did not sleep well last night. I honestly think I was too hot. I'm coming to realize that I am a hot sleeper. I need it to be cool, otherwise I just like toss and turn. I didn't have the heat on or anything like that, but I feel like between my warm pajamas and my cozy bed, I was just like really hot last night. So didn't have the best sleep, but that's okay. We're gonna get up and have a good day regardless. The sun is shining, we're hanging out. I really can't complain. Good morning, how'd you guys sleep? Should we go for a walk? Come on, let's go. I'm in this long coat. This, this is just, this is just not cutting it. I'm <laughs> Time to get some emails done. So the first Vlogmas video just went live and I'm so excited. I was just reading through all of your comments and I'm so happy that you guys are excited to hang out with me every day this month up until Christmas. Some of you had some really good feedback. Another big piece of feedback that I get is that a lot of you appreciate my videos because I make them super aesthetic and I get lots of different shots and I take a lot of time editing. And honestly, that is one of my favorite parts of creating videos is putting it all together and making it aesthetic. And I try to create longer videos because I know you guys appreciate that. And yeah, there's this element of perfectionism, I think that I can sometimes have when creating videos, but I agree with the feedback that I was mentioning previously that I got in a lot of your comments, which was in order to make this sustainable and make sure that I stick with Vlogmas every day until Christmas, I think you're right. I think I might have to forfeit longer videos, maybe not spend so much time editing. So yeah, I'm warning you now. <laughs> I'm going to do my best, but what's more important to me than putting out perfect videos, which no video is perfect, but you know what I mean? I really want to stick with the upload schedule and get a video up for you every day. I think I get a little anxious about the idea that maybe I'm not doing anything that exciting on some of the days or that maybe the video won't be as long or as interesting, but hopefully, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I've tried to plan a lot of fun festive things and I definitely do have a lot of fun festive things coming up in the month of December, but there are some days where I don't have anything planned and I also might have other work like for the podcast or brand partnerships and stuff like that that might not be that exciting. So comment below and let me know. I just need like some affirmation that you're gonna be okay with possibly slightly shorter videos, possibly slightly less aesthetic videos, and possibly maybe a couple videos in there that are not that exciting or interesting. And on that note, today might be one of those videos because I really don't have anything exciting planned other than a workout later today, which is exciting for me, but maybe not that exciting for you. <laughs> But like, other than that, I just have emails that I need to catch up on and I want to work on some plans for my mom's visit 
at the end of the month and just like admin type stuff that's not really that interesting so i really hope that you guys don't mind i don't feel like you will but some extra affirmation down in the comments right now would be absolutely appreciated i need all of the encouragement that i can get to keep on going going to make lunch i'm literally gonna just make another veggie sandwich just like i did the other day so i'm not gonna show you how i did that since i already did that and while the oven is preheating i'm going to give the house a quick vacuum. I've been feeling like I have an influx of stuff in my apartment. I probably don't, might just be in my head, but I get really anxious when I feel like I have extra stuff hanging around or my closets feel super stuffed. So I'm feeling like maybe in the next week doing a purge of the house, just getting rid of things that I'm not using. You know, now that I've been in this apartment for seven months, which is insane, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I'm actually using and what I'm not using. And the things that I'm not using can find a new home so that somebody else can use it, you know? Guess what? What? 19 days till you get to New York City. I Yay! I like your little Oh, thank you. you. I watch you cut things and do your lunch and stuff, and I'm like, how does she do it so good? Probably a little OCD, if I'm gonna be honest with you. We didn't get to see the tree, which is sad. So will we be able to go see the tree? Yes, we, you and I will go see the tree. I'm just saying. For my bread! Damn, it happens fast. <sighs> Cute. My friends at Clean Canteen sent me a new little mug. I know I said yesterday that I'm not like super crazy about it. It's not that I don't like it. It's not that I'm not crazy about it. It's just that for coffee, I like the Califia Farms Barista O Blend better. However, this is definitely cleaner ingredients. I'm also out of the Califia Farms one. So I'm going to go with this until it's all gone because I bought an entire case of it. I bought an entire case of it without ever trying it. That's okay. I am going to steam some milk and take it down in my mug with me to the co-working space in my building because they have an espresso machine down there which makes decaf espresso, which I know still has some caffeine in it, but I'm feeling like I need a little afternoon pick me up. And I thought I would bring my computer and stuff down with me to the co-working space and get some emails done because I have a hard time sometimes concentrating in my house. And I feel like if I just go down there, I will focus and get it done. As far as the afternoon pick me up, as mentioned earlier, I have a workout planned for this evening. I'm going to Rise Nation. And if you've been hanging out around here for a while, then you know I have been going to Rise Nation on and off since 2016 or 2017. So I definitely know what I'm doing, but since moving to New York, I started going again because they have a location here in NoHo and I hadn't gone for like two years. And it is definitely something that you have to build up stamina and cardio for because it will kick your butt. It is not an easy workout. And I have been going to level one, but my friend who is also the founder and creator of Rise Nation, the workout and the brand as a whole, Jason, is in town and he's teaching a level two class tonight. So I signed up, I signed up and I'm scared. A, he's tough. <laughs> as an instructor. And B, it's like, am I gonna survive? It's a level two class. I feel like I'm gonna need some extra energy for that. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. <laughs> but we're gonna just go and do our best. And I actually don't have to think about that yet because that's not for a few hours. For now, I'm just gonna focus on finishing my emails. walk the dogs outside at sunset, which by the way, 4.30, it makes me so sad. I, I, I am loving this winter, but I'm hating a 4.30 sunset. I really am, I'm not gonna lie. It, it's like I'm ready for bed. Anyway, look what else came that I ordered from Target. How cute are these little like charcuterie board tool set? And I got some cookie cutters because I think definitely when my mom comes, we'll make some cookies and stuff. Remember this morning when I said I didn't sleep well? It's like starting to hit me now, but 
The day is not done. We're gonna leave for my workout in like an hour. And then after my workout, I wanna stop at Whole Foods and get stuff to make celery juice because I didn't have that today. But before I do that, I don't wanna eat dinner too late. So I think I'm gonna prep dinner right now. And I'm thinking of doing a little veggie bowl with mung bean noodles. It's actually a pretty simple meal to make. I'm just going to chop and peel all the veggies and get them ready to go so that when I come home, I just have to saute it on the stove. You guys want to do your little advent calendars? Day three. Wow, two again. <laughs> we didn't even do our tea today. If we have any luck, it'll be decaf tea and we can drink it after. Let's see. Lemongrass, ginger, and carrot. Oh, yay, it's caffeine free. Oh my gosh. Amazing, we'll drink this after dinner. Also, yes, I definitely put sweats on over my leggings because it's so cold out. Let's open this one up too while we're at it. So I have a feeling that later on when I get home, I'm gonna be exhausted. Day three of our rituals advent calendar. Hmm. Oh, cool, it's a charcoal mask. Definitely doing this after my workout as well this evening. fun so hard <laughs> but I'm so proud of myself I climbed almost twice the amount that I normally climb in class and it was twice as long as the normal classes that I go to so I'm feeling pretty good but it is 8 30 and I'm just now walking home from the store so we're gonna be eating late that's okay I will get dinner going walk the dogs, shower, and then hopefully eat not too, too late. It's gonna be a late night, so I don't know how early I'm gonna actually chat with you, but I will see you tomorrow. I will, of course, show you what I get into tonight. I just don't know how much more chatting I'm gonna do because I am spent, I'm exhausted. <laughs> 